So now tall bird farming is something that can be done in Don't Starve Together. But gosh dang, it's such a pain. I did a little stream earlier in the week trying to raise tall birds and really tall birds are so hard to raise in a multiplayer setting. And I think that's really because of how long they take to grow up into a full tall bird, including the time it takes to hatch the egg. You have to spend at least 31 days tending to the birds, which is about 4 hours of play. So depending on the season, you have a chance of a giant spawning or even hounds screwing you over. You can slightly mitigate this if you play in a single player world though, because you can actually log off and when you load back in, your birds will still be followers and you can potentially save them from any harm, which is not too bad. But instead if you join a server, you're going to have to spend those 4 hours tending to your birds and playing as safe as you possibly can be. So if you're trying to get tall bird farming going, what can you expect while raising the small birds? The small birds themselves aren't that impressive. They have only 50 HP and they do 10 damage. However, you can use them to attack birds and other small creatures without them getting scared, which is pretty fun. The only thing that sucks is that they will attack anything that also attacks the player. So if you get hit, the small birds are going to aggro and they may end up dying. Small birds are so fragile, you can't really take them places that would be very dangerous. If you happen to leave the server, the small birds will stay behind and attach themselves to any player that comes near them. Sadly, this is not true for when they level up to teen bird status. Once they grow up after 10 days of being a small bird, they will gain much more health, up to 600, and do 37.5 damage. Once you get these, you can actually do things that are more dangerous, like traversing the swamp or even killing hound waves. Each time they get fed, they will heal 200 HP as well. So lots of times the teen bird will come out of battles unscathed, except for giants that have AoE. But for ones that don't, they certainly are fun to amass in large numbers to take down. You just need to make sure you build accordingly for the tall birds or else this will happen. Wait, what the hell? Where are you guys going? They're just completely ignoring the magma pool. Oh, at least they're able to just come back. So now on to hatching. Honestly, I feel it's probably best to put all your eggs in one basket and just hatch them all at once versus trying to take care of two or three at a time. There are power in numbers as they say. You will need a boatload of food though. Each small bird needs 20 hunger points worth of seeds or berries per day. You can use any seeds, cooked birch nuts, or also raw and cooked berries. They will also eat food off of the ground if they are below 75% hunger, but they can end up potentially wasting food points by doing that. You can tell when a bird is at 50% or 0% hunger because your character will have a quote that changes when examining the birds. Small birds when at 0% will just stop moving and start crying so you better get something to them fast. This applies to the smallish tall bird as well, but they don't stop moving when starving. Teen birds need 60 hunger a day, and they can basically eat anything that they want, so long that it's edible. That means you gotta be careful with rot or any other special edible items around your base because they can just pick up and eat them. As you can see, they end up eating the mandrake here and put everyone to sleep. The wiki says that they'll peck at you while they're starving. Maybe it's a bug because it shows right here in the code that they should peck the player, but they just don't. So if you manage to somehow keep them all alive, they will eventually grow up and turn into tall birds and at that point they will want to murder you. So you run away and leave them in a place with no turf or rocky turf so they can set up their nests. They can actually be rather close together so they can be a rather good defense perimeter and a good meat source too. The egg certainly got buffed this update so it's really good to actually start farming tall birds. That is all for now, I'm Terra of DVG, thank you all for watching, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, take care.